Hello everyone, it's Molly here again, and today I'm going to be doing the second video in my Molly's Top 5 series. If you didn't see the first one, it's not really applicable to this time in the year anymore because it was my top 5 Christmas essentials, but if you want to see it, I'll link it down below anyways. Today, as you can probably tell by the title, is my top 5 Lush products, and anyone who knows me knows I have a disgusting amount of Lush products. Like, I collect this stuff. It's this... There's no other way to say it, I just have too much. Um, I've probably tried at least one product from every single product line they have. It's just been years of me being in love with Lush. It's my favorite company for bath products, shower products. So I'm just gonna kind of share my top five. It was really hard for me to pick, but I did break it down to the top five most used, most loved, best ones. So I guess I'll just start with this product. This is a toner for your face. So I use this every single night. It is above and beyond my favorite toner. What I find with a lot of other toners that I've used, I smell the alcohol, I feel the drying effects of the alcohol. This, of course, being from Lush, it's a more natural product. It doesn't have as many of the chemicals that a lot of ones you'd find at somewhere like Shoppers would have. So I love this stuff. Breath of fresh air, it smells delicious, it feels fresh, uh, just like the title says, or the name says. And honestly, I just I've tried so many other toners and none beat this. I always go back to this. And I've turned so many people on to using this product because it truly is amazing. So every night I just take my makeup off, wash my face, spritz it down with this toner, and then put moisturizer on. And I honestly don't like any other skincare products. Uh, from Lush. I've tried some of their face moisturizers and I, they're good, but to me, not the best I've tried. And I've tried some of their face washes, not my thing. I do like their face masks, but they're fresh, so you have to get through them in three weeks. But if I was going to say a face product, Breath of Fresh Air toner, for sure. The next product I'm going to talk about, I have already talked about, I believe, in my October favorites, which I will also link down below, and that is the American Cream Conditioner. Uh, honestly, this is not going to be good if you have damaged hair, dry hair, dyed hair, if you use a lot of heat on it and it's not healthy. Um, I used this a while ago, quite a few years ago, when I was big into dyeing my hair, and this did nothing for it. It did not hydrate it enough to what my damaged hair needed. I have not dyed my hair in three years. I don't use a lot of heat styling tools, I guess, on it. Um, so my hair is very healthy at this point. So this is exactly what I need. I can't handle a deep conditioner. I can't handle anything too heavy. It just weighs my hair down, makes it feel too thick. This smells amazing, like strawberries and vanilla and deliciousness. And the smell really sticks in your hair, which I love. So. Definitely, if you have healthy hair and you're only needing light to mid kind of hydration, this is definitely an amazing product to try out. Okay, I have two bath bombs. Again, one I talked about in another one of my videos. That's how you know I love, love these products. I really do. Because I've already talked about some of them in favorites videos. So this one is a bath bomb. I personally... You know, I've tried their bubble bars, I've tried all that kind of stuff. I way prefer a bath bomb to a bubble bar. I'm just more of a bath bomb kind of girl. Um, this one, I did uh, I did a giveaway back for Christmas, and this was in the giveaway because I truly love this thing. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking. He's outside, not my guy dog, but our family pet Rory. He's a demon, so he's out there. Um, anyways. So this is typically not in bear form. This is Butter Bear, which they came out with for Christmas, but it's basically just a reshaped version of Butter Ball. It's the exact same scent, it's the exact same bath bomb, but the one they have all year round is in the shape of a ball. Much less exciting and cute, but nonetheless amazing. And honestly, when you go into the shop and you look at all of the bath bombs they have, Butter Ball is definitely one of the least exciting in terms of, in terms of the appearance but it is the best one I've ever tried. Like, I'm sure it doesn't look exciting in your bathtub when it's fizzing, but it's so hydrating. It Honestly, you walk out of that bath and you're just like covered in shea butter because that thing is packed with shea butter. And 
the scent is just, you can't beat it. It's like this warm, spicy vanilla scent. My boyfriend loves the scent whenever I use it. It really is an amazing bath bomb. And that's kind of the one I reach for, I guess, when I want to just relax. Um, and this other one, which is a huge favorite of mine and also huge in general, if you can see beside my face, this thing is massive. Much bigger than uh, Butterball. Butterball is like the size of my fist and this is like, yeah, way bigger. So this one has like moons and stars on top. It's called Twilight Bath Bomb. It smells like like a vanilla lavender scent. Um, it's my favorite scent that they have. They also come out with a shower gel in this scent near Christmas time for the past two years and it's it's my favorite. I like stock up on that shower gel every single year because this scent is amazing to me. This one is very different in terms of the way it fizzes out. This one like foams. Like it just creates a big foamy bath and I just love it. This is the one I definitely reach for when I want to de-stress before bed, that kind of thing. It winds you down, totally de-stresses me and it's fun, it's foamy and I'm sure this one would make your bath probably actually pretty versus Butterball which just kind of is white so it doesn't really do much but. Alright and then the last product, I couldn't pick between these two and I decided to lump them in as number five as one thing and by the way none of these are in order I'm just kind of going by what's in front of me but this is a product line so I'm just gonna count both of them they are dream wash and dream cream so for dream wash I've used this for I've probably had it for like a year and I don't know if you can tell but like I still have a good amount left and I use this every time I shave I use this as my shaving cream in the shower. It is good for anything, like it's great for sensitive skin. That's kind of what this whole product line is. Um, it's a chamomile, lavender, it's a very light scent. It's not gonna be offensive to anyone I could think, but it really is very good for sensitive skin, for any sensitive areas that you might wanna shave. It's amazing and I would not use any other shaving cream. And then this is Dream Cream, which is basically a body lotion, um, and again I've had it for ages. It a little goes a long way, you just, I, I know people who've had this that say it like, they don't get enough use out of it for the price, I do. I find that I can spread this for a long time. Um, it's again very good for sensitive skin. I use this when I have eczema problems, which isn't often, but sometimes I will get eczema on my face, and I use this then. If I'm having a bad breakout, I'll use this on my face. I know it's a body lotion, but honestly, it's so good for sensitive skin. I use it on my face. It helps clear up my acne breakouts, helps clear up any of my eczema. It's great for sunburns, for dry skin. If you hate body lotions that have really strong scents, this is perfect. And I'd honestly say out of all these products, if you want to invest in a product that can actually make a really big difference to your beauty care routine, um, that's actually going to be more of an investment, you're going to get more for your money, I would say go for either both of these products or one of them, both amazing, and I can't recommend them enough. So definitely after looking through my collection, um, wandering around my bathroom, I definitely would say I'm happy with these top five. They are definitely things that I have continued to repurchase and will continue to in the future. Um, so those are definitely my biggest recommendations. If you guys have any questions about any of these products or any other Lush products, let me know down below and I will try to get back to you. And if you have any recommendations or requests for any other top five series that you want to see, again, comment down below or tweet me. All my links to social media are down below. And that's it. So I guess I'll say goodbye for now. I love you guys.